srcu. Well, we're glad you're here tonight. Drago mi je da ste ovdje večeras. You are God's prized possession. Vi ste Božja cijenjeno, Božje cijenjeno imanje. You are the faithful ones. Vi ste oni koji su vjerni. From start to finish. Od početka sve do kraja. It's hard to believe that we've gone the, all these nights. Teško je povjerovati da smo već prošli tolike večeri zajedno. I thank God that he allowed me to come here to share these messages with you. Ali zahvalan sam Bogu što mi je pomogao da dođem ovdje i da podijelim ove poruke s vama. And, and tonight I'm going to have a, a drawing for the book Darkness Will Not Overcome. I večeras ćemo ponovno imati izvlačenje za knjigu Tama neće pobijediti. It's my son struggle with opioids. To je priča o mojoj borbi moga sina sa opioidima, to je sa drogama. Drugs were destroying his life and his family. Droge su uništavale njegov život i njegovu obitelj. Praise God that the Lord gave him victory. Ali slava Bogu, Bog mu je dao pobjedu. So tonight at the end of the the message. Tako da večeras na kraju propovjedi. We'll hope everyone will just fill this out, put their name on it, and we're going to gather cards and have a drawing for this book. To jest tokom propovjedi ispunite na svojim karticama svoje ime, imat ćemo izvlačenje na kraju za ovu knjigu. Tomorrow morning. Sutra na večer. A sutra ujutro. We're going to be looking at a beautiful baptism. Razmišljat ćemo i vidjet ćemo predivno krštenje. If you've never seen a baptism by immersion. Ako da, ako nikada niste vidjeli uh, krštenje, biblijsko krštenje. Jesus gave us the example. Uh, Isus nam je dao primjer. A baptism by immersion. Uh, uh, krštenja uh, umakanjem u vodu. I was baby, I was baptized in the Lutheran church. Ja sam bio dijete, ja sam kršten u luteranskoj crkvi. I was just sprinkled. I samo su me poškropili po glavi. That's all my parents knew about. To su to je bilo sve što su moji roditelji znali. So when I learned that baptism, Jesus Kad, gave us the example. Kada sam naučio da nam je Isus dao primjer krštenja. He went down into the water. On je bio spušten u vodu. And John Baptist baptized him. I Ivan Krstitelj ga je krstio. Baptism is a death krštenje je smrt a burial uh, ukop and a resurrection i ponovno uskrsnuće and we're going to have that tomorrow i sutra će se to dogoditi i ovdje and if you've been thinking about it i ako ste razmišljali o ovome you never been baptized by immersion nikada niste kršteni na taj način you ought to make that decision morate donijeti tu odluku you'll never be sorry for it neće vam biti žao so that's going to be a, i got to preach my last message tomorrow morning too sutra prije podne propovjedat ću moju zadnju poruku ove, u ovoj seriji. Tako da vas potičem da budete ovdje prisutni e, da čujete. Želim vas vidjeti još barem jednom prije nego što odem. Again, we're just glad you're here tonight. E, I drago nam je da ste sve jedno ovdje večeras. Let us pray. Pomolimo se. A heavenly Father again we thank you for the privilege we have to meet together here. Nebeski oče hvala ti na privilegiji koju imamo da se zajedno sastavimo ovdje. We come through these doors with heavy burdens upon our hearts. Mi smo prošli kroz ova vrata sa teškim teretom na našim srcima. I know there is someone here tonight who has lost a, a loved one in the family. Znam da je barem netko ovdje večeras koji je izgubio ljubljenu osobu u obitelji. There may be others who are hurting and are in pain or having financial problems. Postoje i drugi koji imaju razne boli, koji imaju probleme, možda financijske probleme. We pray for miracles on the behalf tonight. Molimo se za čuda na njih za njih večeras. Wrap your arms around those who are hurting tonight. Uh, zagrli svakoga onoga tko uh, ima neku vrstu boli večeras. The power of your Holy Spirit. Neka uh, tvoj sveti duh dođe na njih. Touch us so that we leave this place new men, women, boys and girls in the blood of Christ. Dodirni naše srca tako da izađemo sa ovog mjesta kao novi muškarci, nove žene, novi dječaci i djevojčice u Isusovom krvlju. We thank you for hearing our prayer. Zahvaljujemo ti što čuješ naše molitve. That our words don't just bounce off the wall. Da naše riječi ne odskakuju od zidova. But our prayers go straight to the throne room of God. Nego što naše molitve idu direktno u Božju prijestolnicu na nebu. Who hears our prayer and answers it. Koji čuje našu molitvu i odgovara na nju. In Jesus name we pray. Amen. U Isusa ovo ime molimo. Amen. There we go. The world's greatest crime. Najveći zločin na svijetu. 
Tonight is not just another meeting. Večeras nije samo još jedan sastanak. It is God's meeting. Ovo je Boži sastanak. And I believe that each one here tonight. I vjerujem da svako od koje ovdje večeras. You're not here by accident. Nije ovdje slučajno. But by divine appointment. Nego Božim pozivom je došao ovdje. I spoke to you and you were able to come tonight. Bog vam je progovorio i vi ste došli. John Bowring. John Bowring. John Bowring. One time governor of Hong Kong. Koji je bio u određenom vremenskom periodu nekakav predsjednik Hong Konga ili guverner. A man of significant literary achievements. Čovjek koji je bio zaista obrazovan i imao je razne literarne uspjehe. He was making a voyage across the south coast of China. On je putovao brodom pored južnog dijela Kine. When a terrible storm arose. Kada se dogodila i počela je velika oluja. And his ship went down in the rough sea. I njegov brod je potonuo u tom olujnom moru. John was holding on to a piece of wreckage of that ship. I John se držao za jedan komad drveta koji je plutao u moru ostatak od tog broda. John could see in the distance. I mogao je vidjeti u daljini. A giant cross. Veliki križ. It was the work of Portuguese settlers. To je bilo i taj križ je izrađen od strane Portugalaca koji su se nastanjali u tom području. Who had built this large cathedral? Oni su izgradili veliku katedralu. But a typhoon came through. A typhoon. Ali typhoon, typhoon je došao. It it destroyed the building. I on je uništio tu zgradu. It lay in ruins. Ta zgrada je bila potpuno razrušena. Except for the front wall. Osim prednjeg zida. And high on top of that wall. I na visoko na tom zidu skroz gore. Was this huge bronze cross. Bio je veliki smeđi križ. And 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 John's eyes caught sight of that that cross. I kada je Ivan, to jest John vidio taj križ. And it was that cross that showed him where he could find safety. Taj križ mu je pokazao gdje on može konačno naći sigurnost, gdje može izaći na obalu. It was in that great rescue. Ta njegova, to njegovo spasenje iz vode. That caused John to write the famous hymn. I mu je pomoglo da napiše poznatu himnu. In the cross of Christ I glory. U Isusovom križu ja imam, ja slavim Isusov križ. Ne znam kako, ali ima to. Da, nije moja slava, nego je Kristova slava. Ne znam da li imamo ovu himnu. Provjerit ćemo. That's why in the cross of Christ I glory. Slavim Isusov križ. Towering over the wrecks of time. Taj križ koji je bio visoko u toj ruševini. Now we can see how John glorified in a cross. Znamo kako je Isus slavio taj u tom zbog tog križa. It saved his life. On je spasio njegov život. But how could Paul Glory in a cross. Ali kako je Pavao našao slavu u križu? How can anyone glory in a cross? Kako bilo tko može pronaći to veličanstvo, tu slavu u križu? To the Romans. Rimljanima. The cross was a sign of foolishness. Križ je bio znak određene gluposti ili razbojništva možda. A sign of idiocy. Znak da si da su idioti. To the to the Jew. Židovima. The cross was a hindrance to their faith. Križ je bio prepreka u njihovoj vjeri. And sad today. I nažalost danas. The cross is still foolishness to a pagan world. Križ je još uvijek besmislica. To je možda najbolje reći. Besmislica paganskom svijetu. It is still foolishness to them who perish. Još uvijek je križ besmislen onima koji će na kraju umrijeti u vječnom smrću. Now how can you glory in a cross? Kako možemo naći slavu u križu? What beauty is there in a cross? Kakvu ljepotu možemo naći u križu? Two rough beams. Dvije onako grube dva komada drveta. A wooden cross. Dreveni križ. It was always a symbol of that you were a worse criminal. To je uvijek bio simbol da si najgori razbojnik. Uvijek je bio povezan sa sramotom, sa patnjom i sa smrću. Krist koji je raspet između dva razbojnika. Kao da se kaže da je on bio najveći razbojnik. Onaj koji nije znao grijeh. Pavle, moraš biti lud. 
Now Paul, we could see you could glory in a lot of things. A možemo reći da ti nalaziš slavu i veličanstvo u mnogim stvarima. A Jew by birth? Ti si uh, židov po rođenju. A Roman by being born in a Roman province? Ti si rimljanin jer si rođen u, uh, u rimljan, rim, rimskoj provinciji. And Greek by your culture. I uh, grk si po kulturi. We can even see how you could glory in your tremendous missionary endeavors. Možemo vidjeti da nalaziš slabu slavu u svojim velikim misijskim pothvatima. Your many many travels. U svojim velikim putovanjima. We can even see how you could glory in the field of logic and debate. Možemo razumjeti da nalaziš slavu u području logike i debatiranja. Because Paul was great at debating. Jer Pavao je bio odličan u debatiranju. We can even see how you could glory Možemo razumjeti kako nala- može naći slavu in the virgin birth. U uh, rođenju po djevici. Think of it. Razmislite o tome. God and embryo. Uh, Bog u embriju. In the womb of Mary. U uh, maternici Marije. God becomes a man. Bog postaje čovjek. We can see how glory in the miraculous incarnation. Možemo vidjeti da se nalazi tu slava u ovom uh, predivnom začeću, čudesnom začeću. We can see how you could glory in the, in the miracles of Jesus. Možemo naći slavu u Kristovim čudima. How he could spit and heal a blind man. Kako on može pljunuti i uh, time izliječiti slijepog čovjeka. How Jesus reached out and touched a young girl who had died. Kako je Isus uh, svojom rukom izliječio djevojku koja je umrla. And that heart began to beat. I da je njezino srce ponovno počelo lupati. And she was full of life again. I ona je ponovno imala život. Jesus touched lepers and made them whole. Isus je dodirnuo uh, gubavce i ponovno ih učinio cijelima. Yes, we can see how you could glory in the miracles of Jesus. Možemo pronaći slavu u Isusovim čudima. But how could you glory in a cross? Ali kakva slava se može naći u križu? You know, we glory in a lot of things today. Mi pronalazimo slavu u mnogim stvarima danas. Some us glory in what we can do with our money. Neki se slavimo onim što možemo sa svojim novcem. There are some who glory in their tremendous athletic abilities. Neki se slave svojim dobrim atletskim sposobnostima. There's those who who glory in this and glory in that. Neki se slave ali hvale ovim ili onim. So we glory in the tremendous uh, achievements in the field of education. Neki se hvale svojim uh, dobrim uh, postignućima u obrazovanju. But how many of us will glory in a cross? Ali koliko se nas hvali križem? It is on the cross of Calvary. Na križu Golgote. On the hill of Golgotha. Na gori Golgote. On the hill of the skull. Na gori Lubanja. That salvation comes to each of us here tonight. Od, od toga dolazi spasenje za svakoga od nas. In fact, we read in Galatians 6:14 these words. Čitamo u Galatijanima 6:14 sljedeće riječi. But God forbid that I should glory save in our cross of our Lord Jesus Christ. A ja Bože sačuvaj da bih se ičim ponosio osim križem Gospodina našega Isusa Krista. By whom the world is crucified unto me and I unto the world. Po kojem je meni svijet raspet i ja svijetu. Yes, salvation comes to you and me because of that cross. Spasenje dolazi tebi i meni zbog tog križa. In fact, John the Revelator tells us uh, Ivan koji je napisao otkrivenje nam govori that we need to take a deep long look at the cross of Calvary. Da moramo uh, dobro pogledati u križ Golgote. Towering over the wrecks of time. Koji uh, se uh, koji je visoko stoji iznad svog vremena. So that we might see the world's greatest crime. Kako bismo vidjeli najveći zločin na svijetu. And how far God was willing to go to save you, to save me. I koliko je daleko Bog bio spreman ići kako bi spasio tebe i mene. How the cross connects us with God. Kako nas križ povezuje s Bogom. You see the cross puts to death. A križ uh, usmrćuje all the phony excuses of humanity. Sve uh, lažne izlike ljudskog roda. I've heard all these excuses as I've traveled the globe. Ja sam čuo svakakve te razne izlike dok sam putovao po svijetu. Some have said, well, Jesus wasn't relevant. Neki su rekli, a Isus nije relevantan. Uh, Jesus really doesn't care. Isus ne brine. Jesus doesn't feel. Isus ne osjeća. Let me tell you he tossed aside his royal garments. Da vam kažem on je skinuo uh, svoju kraljevsku odjeću. He put aside his royal crown. On je skinuo svoju kraljevsku krunu. Glory came down. Uh, slava je sišla s neba. 
that man's shame would become God's way of salvation. Kako bi ljudska sramota postala Božji način spašavanja. Tonight each one of us must walk the Via della Rosa. Večeras svatko od nas mora hodati Via Dolorosom. The way of the cross. Ulicom koja vodi prema križu. So that we might really see the dreadful malignant nature of sin. Kako bismo zaista doživjeli kakva je to grozna zla priroda grijeha. And at the same time. I u isto vrijeme See the infinite mercy of God. Da možemo razumjeti vječnu Božju milost. God nailed to a tree. Bog koji je bio zabijen na drvo. It may be a startling fact to our ears tonight. To je možda iznenađujuća činjenica za nas. But Jesus never really spoke of the cross as his cross. Ali Isus nikada nije govorio o križu kao njegovom križu. But always as ours. Rekao je da je to naš križ. So let's look at the cross. Pogledajmo u križ. The way Jesus looks at the cross. Na način na koji je Isus ga, ga je vidio. Our first text is found in Matthew 10:38. Prvi tekst se nalazi u Mateju 10:38. And he that taketh not his cross and followeth after me is not worthy of me. Ko ne uzme svoga križa i ne pođe za mnom nije me dostojan. Then we read in Mark 8:34. Marko 8:34. And when he had called the people unto him with his disciples also. Tada dozva narod i učenike pa im reče. He said unto them, "Whosoever will come after me, let him deny himself and take up the cross and follow me." Koli hoće li tko za mnom, neka se odrekne samoga sebe, neka uzme svoj križ i neka ide za mnom. We find in Luke the ninth chapter, verse twenty-three. I nalazimo u Luki deveto poglavlje dvadesetri. And he said to them all, "A govoreš svima, if any man will come after me, a hoće li tko za mnom?" Let him deny himself. Neka odrekne se samoga sebe. Notice what it says now. I primijetite što sada kaže. And take up his cross daily. Neka danomice to je svaki dan uzima svoj križ. And follow me. I neka ide za mnom. Again we read in the book of Luke. Čitamo i u Luki 14:27. And who should not bear his cross and come after me cannot be my disciple. It kad ne nosi svoga križa i ne ide za mnom ne može biti moj učenik. So here we see Sacrifice is involved. Tako da ovdje vidimo da je uključena u ovu cijelu priču žrtva. Jesus in these five Bible texts. U najmanje pet biblijskih tekstova. Is talking about the great crisis in your life and in my life. Isus govori o velikoj krizi u vašem životu i u mom životu. Where each of us must make a decision. U gdje u kojoj svatko od nas mora donijeti odluku. A decision involving a cross. Odluku koja uključuje križ. For there's only one way to heaven. Jer ima samo jedan put na nebo. It's through the cross. A to je kroz križ. Looming in the fork of the road. Koji stoji na križanju ceste. It stands an old rugged cross. Stoji stari križ. It speaks to you and me of sacrifice. Meni i tebi priča priču o žrtvi. It really says, who are you going to live for, self or for God? I zaista nas pita za koga će živjeti, za sebe ili za Boga. It was sin that pierced the heart of God. Grijeh je probio Božje srce. God had written His His law and His word on the hearts of Adam and Eve in the beginning. Bog je zapisao svoj zakon, svoje riječi u srca Adama i Eve na početku. It was God's eternal law. To je bio Boži vječni zakon. His perfect law of love. Njegov savršeni zakon ljubavi. One tree. Jedno drvo. In the midst of the garden of perfection. U sred savršenog vrta. They were not to touch. Nisu smjeli dirati. Now God wasn't asking too much. Bog nije puno tražio. One tree out of millions of trees. Jedno drvo od miliona drveta, drva. But they touched what God had forbidden. Ali dodirnuli su ono što je Bog zabranio. And in that forbidden act, i u tom zabranjenom činu, they turned against God's love. Oni su se okrenuli, okrenuli su svoje lice od Božje ljubavi. And sin raised its ugly head. I grijeh je podigao svoju ružnu glavu. Sin entered the world. Grijeh je ušao u svijet. The perfect world. U savršeni svijet. And the world shortly be in chaos. I od tad je svijet u kaosu. The Bible tells us in Romans 3:23. Biblija nam kaže u Rimljanima 3:23. For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. Jer svi su zgrešili i pali su od Božje slave. So we've all have sinned. Svi smo zgrešili. 
Everyone walk through these doors. A svi koji smo prošli kroz ova vrata. Preachers behind the podium. A propovjednici iza propovjedalnice. We've all sinned and come short of the glory of God. Svi smo zgriješili i pali smo od Božje slave. And as sinners, i kao griješnici, we are under the condemnation of death. A nam naša kazna je smrt. For the penalty of a broken law, jer kazna za zakon koji nismo slijedili, is death. Je grijeh. Je smrt. The, the, the wages of sin is death. Plaća za grijeh je smrt. The Bible tells us that. Biblija nam to govori. We deserve to die. Mi zaslužujemo umrijeti. It is really our just reward. A to je naša pravedna uh, nagrada ili posljedica. We broke the law, not God. Mi smo, uh, mi smo prekršili zakona, ne Bog. So really we could say the cross belongs to humanity. Tako da možemo reći da križ pripada ljudskom rodu. It is really your cross and my cross. To je vaš križ i moj križ. And really we ought to hang upon that cross. I mi bismo trebali na njemu visiti. Those nails should have been driven through your hands. Ti čavali bi trebali proći kroz naše ruke. Through my hands. Kroz moje ruke. Through your feet. Kroz vaše vaša stopala. Through my feet. I moja stopala. That crown of thorns. Ta trnova kruna should have been pushed into your scalp. Je trebala biti stisnuta na vašu glavu. Into my scalp. I u moju glavu. This is our just reward. Ovo je naša pravedna nagrada. It is our cross, not God's. To je naš križ, a ne Božji križ. But here comes the good news. Ali evo dobre vijesti. Here comes the fantastic news. Evo predivne vijesti. Jesus says, I will die your death. Isus je rekao, ja ću umrijeti tvoju smrt. I will die in your place. Ja ću umrijeti umjesto tebe. That thorny crown, I'm going to wear it. Ta trnova kruna, ja ću ju nositi. Those nails that should be in your hands and my hands. Ti čavli koji trebaju biti u vašim rukama, bit će u mojim rukama. Those nails that should be in your feet and my feet. Koji, će bi, koji bi trebali biti u vašim stopalima, bit će u mojim stopalima. Those scars are where forever. Uh, ti uh, ožiljci bit će na meni za uvijek. The spit, the insult. Uh, uh, znači, pljuvanje uh, uh, i ponižavanje. The shame, I'm going to bear it all. Uh, stid svega toga, ja ću to ponijeti. Why? Zašto? Because I love you. Jer vas volim. I love you. Jer vas volim. And your sacrifice. I tvoja žrtva. And my sacrifice. Moja žrtva. Could never atone for the sin problem. Nikada neće moći razriješiti problem grijeha. Your death on the cross. Vaša smrt na križu. My death on the cross. Moja smrt na križu. Would mean that we would die eternally. Bi značila da bi vječno umrli. Because it took a perfect sacrifice. Jer je bila potrebna savršena žrtva. One without sin to atone for sin. Jedan bez grijeha da pokrije grijeh. Christ's death was a vicarious death. Kristova smrt je bila... Vicarious. It was a... What would you say? A vicarious. A freely given. Bila je slobodno dana smrt. No strings attached. Nema... Onako, duga, bez duga. No rubber band on his love. Uh, nema uh, da imate nekakvu povezanost nakon toga. Slobodni ste otići s njom. He paid the price. On je platio cijenu. He paid the penalty. On je uh, platio tu kaznu. Satisfying the demands of a broken law. On je uh, uh, pokrio, to jest uh, učinio je da je slomljeni zakon upotpunjen. Against you, against me. A uh, i sve što je pr- rečeno protiv vas i protiv mene. So he stands as our high priest. Tako da on sada stoji kao naš veliki svećenik. He is our lawyer in heaven. On je naš uh, odvjetnik na nebu. And you can't have a better lawyer than Jesus. I ne možete imati boljeg odvjetnika nego Isusa. It's a free lawyer. <laughs> to je besplatan odvjetnik. You don't have to pay for this lawyer. Ne morate platiti ništa za njega. It's God's gift to you and me. To je Boži dar za tebe i za mene. You cannot bypass the cross tonight. Uh, ne možete proći pored križa večeras. It's your only way of salvation. To je vaš jedini način spasenja. It's your bridge back to God. To je vaš uh, most natrag prema Bogu. Do you remember how Pilate tried to wash his hands of Jesus? Znate kako je Pilot, uh, Pilat htio oprati svoje ruke nakon što je bilo suđeno Isusu. But he could not wash his hands of Jesus. Ali nije mogao oprati svoje ruke u potpunosti. 
He was too proud to change, even though he knew what was right. On je znao što je bilo pravo, ali bio je preponosan da se promijeni. You see, God wants us to stand up for His truth, no matter what. Bog želi da čvrsto stojimo uz njegovu istinu bez obzira na sve. Sometimes it means a change of churches. I to ponekad znači promjena crkve. Sometimes it's a change of of beliefs. To je nekad i promjena vjerovanja. But when God sheds His light in our path. Ali kada Bog uh, se postavi na naš put, even though it may be different than we ever thought it was, uh, čak i ako mislimo da je to drugačije nego što smo ikad mislili, God will help us make that change. Bog će nam pomoći uh, donijeti i učiniti tu promjenu. God loves you. Bog vas voli. And He loves you. We cannot wash our hands of the truth we have heard. I kada nas Bog voli, mi ne možemo oprati svoje ruke od istine koju smo čuli. Our only act Access to the Father Naš jedini pristup Otcu is through Jesus Christ. je kroz Isusa Krista. And he wants to impart to each one of us here tonight. I on želi da svatko od nas ovdje večera zapamti. The most precious gift. Uh, da imamo najvrijedniji dar. He wants to impart to you and me justification. Želi vam dati opravdanje. Man, that's a big word. To je jedna velika riječ. I can barely fit it on the screen. Uh, jedva stane na ekran. I know some preachers Znam nekad propovjednika who could speak about this word justification koji mogu o ovoj riječi opravdanje govoriti for 10 years. 10 godina. And you still wouldn't know what it meant. I još uvijek ne bismo znali šta znači. What does it mean? Što to znači? Here is the most perfect definition Evo, of justification. Evo najbolje definicije opravdanja. We stand before God as if we have never sinned. Stojimo pred Bogom kao da nikad nismo zgriješili. Isn't that fantastic? Zar nije to fantastično? No matter what we have said, nema veze što si te rekli, no matter what terrible things we might have done, ili što smo grozno učinili, or maybe some horrible places we've been at, ili uh, groznih mjesta gdje smo bili, his blood, njegova krv, covers us, nas pokriva, completely, uh, potpunosti. We are justified. Mi smo opravdani. And we stand before him as if we had never sinned. I mi stojimo pred njim kao da nikad nismo zgriješili. I love the word justification. Ja volim riječ opravdanje. Now the broken law? Uh, sada uh, polomljeni zakon ili zakon koji nismo slijedili. There's nothing against you or me. Ništa ne može reći protiv vas ili protiv mene. We are free from its condemning power. Mi smo slobodni od njegovog okrivljavanja. Christ frees us from the penalty of death. Krist nas oslobađa kazne smrti. The sentence of death is removed. Ta, da, znači to, kako se kaže, kad na sudu kažu, sad ste vi za smrt. Okrivljenje ili osuda, osuda smrti, osuda grijeha je maknuta. The law is still there. Zakon je još uvijek ovdje. And we're not free to break the law. Ili i nemamo pravo uh, znači ići protiv zakona i slomiti zakon. The cross does not take away our obedience. A križ uh, ne očekuje da sad budemo neposlušni, ali očekuje da budemo poslušni. It does not lessen Christian responsibilities. Uh, ne pomiče ili ne smatra nevažnima naše kršćanske odgovornosti. To, to think that the law was done away at the cross. Uh, ako bismo pomislili da je uh, zakon uklonjen križem, would mean that that God, that uh, that God was foolishness. To bi značilo da je uh, bo, Božji zakon ili ono što je Bog učinio uh, besmisleno. Would mean that the vicarious death of Jesus Christ was a waste. Bi to bi značilo da je besplatna smrt Isusa Krista uh, išla onako može ići uz, uzaludna hvala. The cross shows us tonight Križ nam pokazuje večeras His great love for each one of us. njegovu veliku ljubav za svakoga od nas. The Bible says, If you love me, keep my commandments. Biblija kaže, ako me ljubite, držite moje zapovjedi. You see, all of God commandments are important. Sve Božje zapovjedi su važne. And he wants us to keep them because he wants to protect us. I on želi da ih držimo jer želi nas zaštititi. We keep them by faith in a relationship with Jesus. Mi ih držimo vjerom u odnosu s Isusom. What does the cross show us tonight? Ali što nam križ, križ pokazuje večeras? It shows us the ugliness of sin. Pokazuje nam uh, koliko je ružan grijeh. It shows us what it cost God. Uh, pokazuje nam što je to koštalo Boga. That sin is not just a speck on the surface. Da grijeh nije samo neka prašina na nekoj po, uh, podlozi. 
It ought to tell us about the blood-covered body of our Lord and Savior upon the cross. On nam govori o tijelu koje je bilo pokriveno krvlju, tijelu našeg Isusa Krista, spasitelja. And how far God was willing to go that you might find salvation in him. I koliko je Bog bio spreman daleko ići kako biste vi našli spasenje u njemu. It proves God hates sin. To pokazuje da Bog mrzi grijeh. But loves the sinner. Ali ljubi grešnika. If the cross proves anything tonight, ako nam križ išta može dokazati večeras, dokazuje nam da Bog mrzi grijeh. To je uh, ružno za njega. At Calvary, God repeated, I na Golgoti Bog je ponovio what he told Israel ono što je rekao Izraelu stotinama godina ranije. No means takes sin uh, on ne smatra da je grijeh mala stvar. The cross proves that. I to križ dokazuje. And the good news of the gospel is that Christ died for you and me. Yes, Paul could glory in the cross. Because the cross that was his became Christ's cross. That's why wherever Paul went, he preached on the cross of Christ. There's power in the cross. The power of salvation. Moć spasenja. Notice what Paul tells us in 1 Corinthians. Uočite što Pavao kaže u 1. Korinčanima. But Christ sent me not to baptize but to preach the gospel. Jer ne posla me Krist krstiti nego navješćivati evanđelje. Not with words, not with wisdom of words. I to ne mudrošću besjede. Lest the cross of Christ should be made of none effect. Da se ne obeskrijepi križ Kristov. For the preaching of the cross is to them that perish Foolishness. But unto us, notice, but unto us which are saved, it is the power of God. Now I ask you, who is Paul speaking to in this verse? In this chapter. He was speaking to the Corinthians. Now what kind of city was Corinth? Kakav grad je bio Korint? It was the garbage can of the world. To je bilo smetlište svijeta. It was known throughout the world for its moral slime and muck. Uh, u cijelom svijetu je bio poznat kao uh, zbog svoje moralne ljigavosti. To be a Corinthian, uh, biti Korinčanin, it meant you burned the candle at both ends. Uh, znali, značilo je da sagorjevate sa obje strane. Throw away all your moral scruples. Uh, da bacate sa strane sve svoje moralne uh, vrijednosti. Eat, drink, be merry, tomorrow we die. Da pijete, jedete, budete sretni jer sutra umiremo. Sounds like the cry of our world today, doesn't it? Malo zvuči kao uh, moto našeg svijeta danas. And this is a city Paul preaches the cross of Christ. I ovdje Pavao propovjeda križ Kristov. In that ancient city, the cross was a stumbling block. U tom starom svijetu križ je bio kamen spoticanja. It was a sign of idiocy. To je bio znak ludosti. How foolish. Kako neko glup može biti. The cross tells us tonight. Uh, I križ nam govori večeras. It ought to tell each one of us personally. I treba reći svakome od nas pojedinačno. That you are important to God. Da ste vi važni Bogu. Because it's through the cross of Calvary. Jer kroz križ Golgote. That we are reconciled to God. Mi se pomirujemo s Bogom. God loves you. Bog vas voli. That's a message of the cross. To je poruka križa. Are you willing to take up the cross and follow Jesus? Jeste li spremni uzeti križ i slijediti Isusa? Perhaps you're thinking, what kind of cross can I bear for Jesus? Možda mislite kakav ja križ mogu nositi za Isusa? Perhaps you're thinking, well Lord, if I could if I could show people a convenient cross. Možda kažete ako mogu ljudima pokazati jedan onako laki križ. They might be interested. Možda će biti uh, oni zainteresirani za ovu ponudu. If I can show individuals a bright and shiny cross. Ako mogu pokazati jedan onako sjajni lijepi križ. What has to be relevant these days? Uh, moramo danas biti relevantni. And Lord, don't you have any of those soft padded crosses? I Bože, zar nemaš onako one križeve koji imaju jastučiće koji su mekani? 
I'm sure I could win a lot to your side if I show him a comfortable cross. Ako ljudima pokažem jedan mekani laki križ, sigurno će puno ljudi biti spremni well, nositi ga. Well, perhaps you have a small cross with hinges on it so I can fold it up and shove it under my jacket. Možda imate jedan, jedan križ koji se može preklopiti i sklopiti da ga ja stavim u jaknu. Wouldn't should be too obvious these days. Uh, ne bi trebali biti preočiti uh, u ovom svijetu danas. Lord, it doesn't seem like you have much of a selection of crosses. Bože, ne čini se kao da imaš dobar izbor križeva. All I see is rough, heavy crosses. Samo ono što vidim su uh, teški, grubi križevi. Lord, I can never carry that kind of cross. Nikada ne mogu nositi takav križ. Lord, uh, gospode, Will you help me carry that cross? Hoćeš li mi pomoći nositi taj križ? Lord, will you die my death? Hoćeš li umrijeti moju smrt? And I'm going to love you for it. Ja ću te voljeti za to. And every time I meet someone, I svaki put kada sretnem nekoga, I'm going to let them know that you're carrying my cross. Reći ću mu da ti nosiš moj križ. And those nail prints in your hands. I da te ti znakovi u tvojim rukama od čavala. Those nail prints in your feet. U tvojim stopalima should have been in my hands and my feet. Trebali su biti u mojim rukama i u mojim stopalima. And Lord, I'm going to glory in the cross. I Bože, ja ću se hvaliti križem. Because that's the cross you bore my cross on the hill of Golgotha. Jer je to je križ, to je moj križ koji si odnio na brdo Golgote. And the crosses I bear in this world. I križeve koje nosim u ovome svijetu can never amount to that cross on Calvary. Nikada nisu tako veliki kao ovaj križ Golgote. The fire bell rang Uh, zazvonilo je uh, ono požarno zvono in a small college town u malom uh, uh, u malom fakultetu u jednom gradu was in the state of washington to je bilo u saveznoj državi washington the firemen rushed to the scene i uh, vatrogasci su brzo došli na tu scenu gdje je bila gdje zvonilo but it, but it was too late ali bilo je prekasno the flames were shooting in all directions uh, vatra je bila uh, na sve strane It was the Hansen's home. To je bio dom obitelji Hansen. He was the old Ernest was the oldest of the seven children. Uh, Ernest je bio najstariji od sedmero djece. And he was left to babysit. I uh, njega su ostavili roditelji da čuva svoje mlađe braću i sestre. 17 years old, that's all. Sa 17 godina. And thank goodness he thought that all the children were outside. I hvala Bogu on je uh, bio svjestan da su sva djeca vani. Because the house was engulfed in flames. Uh, jer uh, kuća je bila sva u, u vatri. The firemen could do nothing. I vatrogasci nisu ništa mogli učiniti. The fire was out of control. A vatra je bila van kontrole. And all of a sudden Ernest. I on u jednom trenutku Ernest realized that his little baby sister. Je shvatio da njegova mala uh, sestrica beba she was missing. Uh, nje nije bilo. And the terrible thought came to his mind. I grozna misao je došla na njegov um. She's in the house. Ona je u kući. She's upstairs in the crib. Ona je gore u krevetiću. So Ernest ran to the fireman. Tako da je Ernest potrčao prema vatrogascima. And he said, "Please, you must do something." I rekao je, "Molim vas, učinite nešto." Please do something. Molim vas, učinite nešto. My little baby sister is in a crib upstairs in that house. Moja mala sestrica je u krevetiću gore u kući. It's too late. Prekasno je. The fire's out of control. Vatra je van kontrole. We don't want to lose any more lives. Ne želimo izgubiti više života. Mister, you don't understand. Ali gospodine, vi ne razumijete. That's my baby sister. To je moja mala sestrica. Please help. Molim vas pomozite mi. It's too late. Prekasno je. Well, Ernest pulled away from them firemen. Uh, Ernest je otišao od tih vatrogasaca. He dashed through those flames in that On house. je utrčao u tu kuću kroz vatru. He ran upstairs. Potrčao je gore. Praise God the fire had not gotten to that room where his baby sister. I hvala Bogu vatra nije došla do te sobe gdje je njegova sestrica bila u krevetiću. He picked his little baby sister up and wrapped her in a blanket. On je uzeo svoju sestru i zamotao ju je u jednu deku. He placed her under his jacket. Stavio je ispod jakne. And as he was going down the stairs. I kada se spuštao on iz stepenice. The, the stairs caved in and the flames leaped upon Ernest's body. Stepenice su propale i on je upao u vatru. And he crawled as best he could. I onda je on puzao koliko god je mogao. It pushed open the front door. I uh, pogurno je prednja vrata. And the firemen saw him and they ran to him. I vatrogasci su ga vidjeli i potrčali su prema njemu. And they pulled him out and they rolled him in the grass. Izvukli su ga van i počeli su ga rolati po uh, po travi. 
They put out the flames. I ugasili su vatru. And Ernest kept crying over again and again. Ali Ernest je nastavljao vikati ponovno i ponovno. But you don't understand that's Ali my baby sister. Ne razumijete, to je moja mala sestra. And there under the badly burned body of Ernest. I uh, kada on, oni su vidjeli koliko je on jako izgorio. There was his little baby sister. Ali u svojim rukama je držao njegovu sestricu. There was a burn on her body. Na njezinom tijelu nije bila niti jedna opekotina. But Ernest was a different story. Ali Ernest to je bila druga priča. They rushed him to the hospital. Oni su ga brzo odvezli u bolnicu. Many weeks and months. Mnogi tjedni i mjeseci. Ernest hung between life and death. A njegov a njegov život je bio na koncu. He finally na, pulled između through. života i smrti. Yeah, he finally pulled through. A na kraju je ipak uspio preživjeti. But it was a terrible sight. Ali bilo ga je grozno vidjeti. One could hardly look upon his face without feeling sick. Nije se moglo ni vidjeti njegovo lice bez da se osjeća muka. His hair had been burned off in the fire. Njegova kosa je sva izgorila u vatri. Part of his ear and his nose. I njegovog uha i nosa. His fingers and his hands were so so gnarled and so disfigured, scarred so badly. Njegovi prsti su bilo toliko iskrivljeni, toliko puni ožiljaka. Years later. Godinama kasnije. Many years later. Mnogi godina kasnije. There was a strange sight to be seen on that small college campus. A jedan neobičan prizor se dogodio na tom kampusu tog koleđa. A beautiful young lady. Predivna mlada djevojka. Walking arm in arm. Koja hoda ruku pod ruku. With a terribly scarred man. Sa groznim čovjekom punim ožiljaka. Others wondered why would such a beautiful young lady walk with such an ugly scarred man. I ljudi su se pitali zašto tako lijepa djevojka hoda pored takvog čovjeka punog ožiljaka. She didn't mind. Ali nju ona nije mrarila. She was that little girl growing up. To je bila ona mala djevojka koja je odrasla. And he was earnest. I to je bio Ernest. You see, he became scarred. Vidite, on je uh, imao puno ožiljaka. For her. Ali to je bilo sve za nju. Do you understand Razumijete li, braćo i sestre? 2000 years ago. Prije 2000 godina. Jesus' hands became scarred for you and me. Isusove ruke su poprimile ožiljke za vas i za mene. Scars that he's going to wear throughout the ceaseless ages of eternity. Ožiljke koje će nositi u vječnost. He was scarred for you, for me. Ožiljke koje nosi za vas i za mene. And he asks us to follow him. I on nas pita hoćeš li me slijediti. That's what counts for eternity. To je ono što se računa za svu vječnost. God is speaking to each of our hearts tonight. Bog govori svakom od naših srca večeras. Perhaps some of you are thinking, I don't think I'm good enough. Možda neki od vas mislite, možda nisam dovoljno dobar. Because I've done this or I've done that. Jer sam učinio ovo ili ono. No, when you come to Christ, He justifies you. Ne, kada dođete Kristu, On vas opravdava. Never forget it. Ne zaboravite. God came down. Bog je sišao dolje. God walked the Via della Rosa. Bog je hodao Via Dolorosom. And God died upon the cross. I on je umro na križu. He became scarred for each one of us. On je primio ožiljke za svakoga od nas. God is moving upon your heart. Bog radi na vašim srcima. And tonight I pray that you might make a decision for Jesus. I danas se molim da donesete odluku za Isusa. And whenever you make a decision for Jesus. I kada god donesete tu odluku. Whenever you make that decision for Christ, kada god donesete odluku da slijedite Krista, he'll be by you every step of the way. On će biti s vama u svakom trenutku vašeg puta. He is the one who helps us live the victorious life. On je taj koji vam pomaže imati život pobjede. His victory over our sins tonight. Pobjedu vam daje nad grijehom večeras. That's the blood of Christ. U putem krvi Kristove. We have a card. Everyone has a card in their seat. Svako od vas ima jednu karticu na svom sjedalu. And I, I want to encourage you to just take it right now. If you need, if you need a pen, a pencil, a phone handle. Well, let's fill this card out tonight. You want to read it? I have three sentences at the beginning. I love Jesus. 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 And, and just fill this out. We're going to gather these cards. I, uh, ove Whether you just want me to pray for you, 
Ako želite samo da se pastor moli za vas, možete i to napisati, slava Bogu. Ili neki od vas može želite reći, želim se krstiti, uskoro napišite to. Ili ako želite molitvu, možete napisati. Svako od vas neka ispuni i jedan od ovih imena koje napišemo dobit će i knjigu pastorovog sina. Sada je vrijeme da ispunite ili da ste posjetitelji ili da ovdje već jeste bili. Uvite imat ćemo izvlačenje. U ovom polju gdje je pitanje, ako želite molitvu, možete napisati molitvu večeras je i zadnja šansa poslije da se molite sa pastorom Richardom. Ali Isus želi da vi donesete svoju odluku. I želi ju zapečatiti svoju prvlju. Da li nekome još treba olovka? Podignete ruku pa ćemo se nadodati. Oni koji imaju olovke, vidite kome ne dostaje olovka. Evo sad će nam donijeti. Evo sad će nam donijeti. Bog je hodao Via Dolorosom za svakoga od vas. On je primio ožiljke kako bismo mi naše grijehe imali preokrivenima za uvijek. Ako niste prihvatili Krista do sada, možete ga zamoliti da uđe u vaš život. I on će učiniti da vaše srce bude njegov dom. Može vam biti oprašten za vaše prijašnje, sadašnje i buduće grijehe. Hvala. Hvala da se vam uvijek. 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 Sad molim dva volontera da nam pomognu da prikupimo ove košarice, kartice, oni koji... Ako ste ispunjili, samo podignite. Evo, Marko Skuplja. Hvala da ste došli učiniti. Drago mi je da ste došli učiniti. Ovo je jedna od mojih najdražih poruka. Ali Bog je započeo dobro dijelo u vašim životima. Ali nije gotov. On će nastaviti raditi. Svakog dana. Svaki sat. Svaki sat. Sutra će biti zadnji dan kada ću govoriti ovdje pred vama. I vi ćete biti svjedoci predivnog krštenja. Neki od vas ćete reći, u vau, ja bi se tako htio krstiti. Danesi. Jeste li svi koji ste htjeli dati? Ste dali? Ok. Sada će on malo njih izmiješati. Jednaka je ovdje nekoliko kartica. Sada ću jednu izvući. Nancy Sanicki. Kako je to? Nancy. Naša pjevačica. Bog te blagoslovio. Hvala ti za tvoju lijepu glazbu. Još ćemo jednu izvući i osoba će moći izabrati jednu od naših knjiga koje su dolje. Darija Vitković. 
All right, we don't have it here. A ovdje nemamo knjigu, gospođo Darija, ali dolje kad se spustite sa strane možete izabrati jednu od knjiga. Hvala. All right, well, we we'll look forward to you uh, exciting thing we're going to happen on uh, tomorrow morning. Sutra ujutro imamo uzbudljivi događaj. At what time do we start? Započinjemo u 10 sati prije podne. Okay. At 10 o'clock. And the clock. So get those toothpicks under your eyelids. Uh, stavite čačkalice na vaše oči. And, and we're going to meet together, fellowship together. Sastaćemo se, imat ćemo bogoslužje. We have a, a wonderful message for you. E, imat ćemo predivnu poruku za vas. And then we're going to have a beautiful baptism. Imat ćemo predivno krštenje. It takes place after the Koje će biti the... nakon uh, propovjedi. And if you never see the baptism, I ako nikad niste vidjeli krštenje, in fact, this is the first time I ever saw a baptistry. Uh, ovo je prvi put kad sam vidio da je krštionica ili bazen na u prizemlju crkve. And the water is going to be warm. I bit će voda topla. I pray. Ja se molim. <laughs> But anyway, hope you come for that and then we're going to have a, a, a meal together. Imat ćemo zajednički ručak, svi ste pozvani. Hey, can you beat that a free meal? Uh, besplatan obrok, zar ne? <laughs> Hope you can come. Dođite. All right. God bless you. Uh, we didn't pray, Pastor. Yes, let's have a little prayer before we go. Yes. Pomolimo se. Lord Jesus, again, I can't thank you enough for your spirit, the way it's worked in our hearts tonight. Hvala ti Bože za tvog duha koji je radio na našim srcima ovdje večeras. You touched us. Ti si nas dodirnuo. You've changed us. Ti si promijenio naše živote. Now Lord as we leave this place we never leave your presence. I sada Bože dok odlazimo sa ovog mjesta ne želimo otići iz tvoje prisutnosti. And once again I pray that you put your loving arms around those who are hurting tonight. Još jednom te molim da zagrliš svakoga onoga tko ko pati večeras. Those who lost a loved one. One koji su izgubili voljene osobe. Those who are hurting physically. One koji fizički imaju boli. We long for the day we can look up and say lo this is our god. Čeznemo za danom kada ćemo pogledati u nebo i reći evo moga gospodina. We have waited for him and we will be glad at his salvation. Čekali smo ga i sretni smo zbog spasenja koje on donosi. Will there be no more death, sorrow or heartache? Kada više neće biti ni smrti, ni patnje, ni slomljenih srca. We'll spend eternity with Jesus. Provećemo vječnost zajedno. So that end we pray. Za to sve molimo. In Jesus name. Amen. Amen.